Today I want to show you my highly effective street cone dust separation cyclone and how to build it. The main advantages of a cyclone filter for a shop rack are that the cartridge filter in the shop rack stays clean and so there is no loss of suction or burning of the motor. A cyclone can also have a much greater volume than the shop rack so it must be emptied much less frequently. On the other hand it is obviously bulky and it also takes away a little bit of the sucking power of the shop rack. But does a cyclone made out of a street cone really work? Watch this. This is dust out of my homemade table saw. There are bigger particles, but also very fine ones. I placed a strong light behind the cyclone to be able to watch what is going on inside. The air shoots into the cone and starts to spin really fast. Centrifugal force draws the particle towards the walls of the cyclone. And gravity drops them into the bucket. Now let's build this cyclone. You need a street cone, some sort of a sturdy airtight bucket and a piece of pipe and some wood scraps. I start by removing the foot from the cone and take some measurements. I saw the upper plug of the cyclone out of a piece of plywood at a 7 degree angle, so it will meet perfectly with the walls of the cone. I carefully sand away the saw marks and test its fit. I drill a hole right in the center. And yeah, it was not in the center. So I plug it again and use this little center finder to approximate the real center of the disc. Then I redrill the hole and fit it to the pipe using the oscillating spindle sander. I cut several plywood discs on the bandsaw and saw a hole in the first one. The others were glued together and sanded to the line. Now the cone must be attached to its base. I saw a hole into the disc and secured the cone with a lot of construction adhesive. Then I trim off the excess. Now I fasten the lid of the bucket to the cyclone with the remaining disc and several screws. Now it looks like a cyclone already. Okay. 
I secure the plug with screws and create a cutout in the cone. Next I drill a hole in a block of wood and attach it to the cyclone with a piece of plywood. Carefully checking the alignment. I have sharpened the edges of the pipe and used it to cut a perfectly sized hole into the cyclone. The pipe is marked and ground to the desired shape. I glue the pipe in place and seal everything with silicone. And here we go, time for a test. 